welcome back as you can see by the date it's taken me a few days to get back um, as I was updating this last time I had a whatsapp from a friend who says can you come on to discord help me out with a couple of things so I went yeah sure and so like I let this update and so on and then like, well, life just kicks in basically so anyway I'm continuing it now um, and in off camera literally what I've done actually is install Firefox and there's because we're going to the next stage now so is this file manager I need internet I'm hoping Firefox is installed now so it didn't come up with no child process problems and yes this is a fresh build of Firefox okay um, I do believe I have to go to Trinity desk top dot org And here we are. Okay, this is the website for the Trinity Desktop itself. Uh, it's not my website, it is one for them. But I do need now a terminal. Uh, Mr. Extrem, I don't think I've got console anymore because I do believe I took all the KD off. Oh, I did. I was just making sure. Okay, but I know I have Extrem and Extrem root. Okay, I have that. Of course, there's nothing to minimise too, because as you can see, that's okay. Let's see if we can out tab it in. I can indeed. And can I make that a bit smaller? I can indeed. Okay, and there is a, there, there is a reason behind it. Obviously, I've got to do some copy and pasting, or rather, single clicking. So anyway, we've got get Trinity, and I do believe we need to go to the packages here. And we want 14 but 05 is current. And as you can see, this is only selecting for uh, Debian, Debian, Ubento, Fedora. It's not exactly what I wanted. So I'm going to go to the documentation. And here we are. The PC Linux OS one is the one I actually wanted because I'm building on PC Linux OS. Okay, and here we have the little to add our repo to uh, I think it's how to do that and I want it out tab to there and middle click if it can me and it has and I can now hit enter and by rights if I go to uh, accept app apt and have a look in there and in uh, sources list D. and ls in there and I should have a trinity list so we can have a look at that okay so that's done well okay now we know that we're gonna uh, get update this will bring in the uh, packages for Trinity ok I'm not sure whether I still have Synaptic installed so let's have a look because this may uh, no, oops only because I can't spell why not just use and also complete ok we do have Synaptic installed and as you can see in new repository we have all the stuff uh, we've got installed upgradable and we have all this well there you go you leave it a couple of days and what happens so what we will do we will um, install all them because they're needed or at least some of it is Okay, so what about Libart there? Where did you come from? Where you come from the Trinity desktop? Hmm, very cool. Now there's lots of ways I could install Trinity, of course. 
from here. I could be lazy and just do uh, get the installed Trinity Dust Test that we shoot. It's a meta package, but that is going to bring in a lot of stuff I don't really want. So I'm going to try and build it up bit by bit. Well, for anybody playing along at home, if there's anybody playing along at home, uh, I'm just going to do it. It'll be easy just to, for you to do the uh, Trinity desktop better package and just let it drag everything Trinity down. Not literally everything, but quite a lot of stuff. And which is quite good if you have a fast um, internet connection. So, since the rest of the package is really small after this one, because it's only showing 18 seconds with another 11 packages to go so right new version dd copy and so on okay so that's happily updating all right there was no kernel stuff so what I'm after now is twenty dash. <clears throat> okay, and this is all the Trinity stuff that's newly been arrived in the uh, repo there. I just want to bring that down a bit so I can see more. And this is all the Trinity stuff that, not all the stuff that we're going to need to install, but you know, just some of the stuff here that is needed. There we go. Okay, and there you go for the thing. So what we are going to need actually is the desktop window manager. So we'll tick that for installation. And it's also going to be installing the TDA base and TD libs and so on. We will mark them. And what else do we actually need need? for my install today I don't need actually TDM because I use GDM anyway but it would be nice to have some wallpapers so we can drag them in um, wallet manager ne development ne TD system settings ooh yeah because that's slightly different to what I'm using anyway so okay we'll mark that because I really haven't really had a look at the new TDE and if it's any good I'll put it into my own and we need some uh, styles so I normally use Aurora so Aurora gets in uh, QT Curve as well and there's a reason for that in a minute because QT Curve can be quite good for um, other stuff as well so ok we've got TD Image, TD Libs, TD Multimedia we don't actually need in Uh, TDEO apt we'll have that it helps with things we'll uh, also have some of this as well most of the TDIOs are IO slaves it just helps you with a lot of stuff um, I'm going to have to extend that because I don't want to debug, debug version because I have enough there so you do it on my property so we need that as well help with unmounting stuff in Trinity which is always good uh, they're the language files which I won't be doing today I'm afraid oh, we have TD bindings they're always good for a giggle so we have the Ruby Bythons and all that business it's just so that hopefully it doesn't come Okay, and I need a TDE base as well. Which will bring in the TDE base. As you can see, it will bring in TDM, but that's alright, that's fine. We'll apply those 
and hopefully that should get us a basic um, worktop. I'm hoping anyway. Right, while this is just downloading, it's going to take five minutes. I'm going to pause and get a coffee and I'll be back. Well, I'm back. And as you can see, it's um, so far, no problems. Okay, yeah. Usual outputs. Nothing broken yet, I do not think. Okay. So, shall we see to see if we have? Um, you notice I haven't got uh, Liberal Arts, Pulse Audio, or anything installed yet, or, or Amrock Conqueror, or anything like that. I just want to get to a desktop. Let's see if. Oops. That's me scrolling. If I have actually got to a desktop. Okay, so we need to close a few windows. I mean. I don't have to, but I'm going to anyway. Because we've done with the uh, Firefox now. And I will be clearing all Firefox out and all that using Bleach Bit later. Okay, so if I um No I won't. I'll just log out of her. Just log out this way. Are you sure you want to exit? Yes I am. And hopefully I should have a TDE session here, and I do. I want to change session. Oops, escape start again. I do have a problem with my the key. I just want to make sure that is right, and it is. And I want to make that default. And it says cannot set. Uh, Start TD startup config. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and this is the brand new install. This is on the root partition, don't forget. So this isn't logged into uh, guest yet. So we have now got a basic. TDE desktop and there is well where some of the work comes in but let's have a look at the menus okay so we have these installed so far so good. Okay, I did have Clipzilla installed. I'd forgotten about Clipzilla. <laughs> it's been installed. But I'll work on install it later. Pull spelling control. Yeah, settings such as, as you know. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's go again, yeah. Okay, system, and it's got the package manager and so on, super user file browsers. LibreOffice Manager, because by rights office should be installed yet. And we have a lost in found. Okay, that's very cool. Now, it's mostly um, synaptic, so let me just do something here for my own, which is what I do anyway, because, you know, it just makes my life um, a lot easier. And that is to drag Synaptic to the trust bar there. Okay, so I have Synaptic. We can now search for open box. And we can get rid of open box. And it's telling me that's going to be moved and the loop open box too could be removed as well. It's just there, it's thinking, and I'll make sure that he's having a complete removal as well. Right, just a couple of more things that I need to do before closing up this video, because when I combine the two videos, it's going to be quite long. 
Um, what I actually need to do now is to log out. Log out, Ali. Okay. Fresh installs, I hate them. Always little things. But anyway, uh, let's log out, Root. There we go. In current session. You probably heard the doodle in the background there. And it will log out eventually. It's always slow the first time. Okay, I want to log into guest. And a session. TD. As you can see, it removed all the um, stuff there. I want to change session. And type in the guest account, which is guest. And I'm going to make TD default. And it'll probably say something about startup, blah blah again. Nope, it's asking uh, what my language and stuff is, but I'm going to skip that wizard, could always do. And we know the sound's working because I just heard the, uh, it tell me off. Okay. Now I'm getting there. Now I'm not quite sure what the web is on this web browser, browse the World Wide Web. Where are you linking to? Firefox, okay, cool. Okay, this is the guest account. And a lot of work will be done here afterwards. Um, you know, to make it look like the rest. So at least we know the guest account is working. We have Clipper and so on, the old uh, XR and R there. It's only giving me three resolutions, but I have it unscaled, so I can make it bigger, as you can see. Uh, but it's, it could look, start to look weird if I do that. Anyway, at least I know where I am now, and all this seems to be working. So, that's it for this one. Uh, on the next part, I'll be um, doing some more work, as you can guess. Uh, making it a bit more tidy. Uh, cleaning things up, removing stuff, adding some stuff. You'll get the idea. And then uh, show you how I'll be copying over via USB or whatever, some stuff as well. So as to uh, aid my aid my work so to speak it's stuff that i don't really need to reinvent the wheel on so i'm just gonna let that shut down and actually what i'm going to do is start it back up after it's done as you can see the startup and shutdowns are still on the old kde ones and yes you can see ferron os there because that's this week's big daddy challenge it's one of those things that, that didn't stop me from making a video, but, you know, I didn't install elementary. And now it's starting to beat up in more or less the times I'm expecting it to. So, let me just lock in this route, because the less I do with guests, actually, is a lot better. So, before I go, I do want to do one more thing. Yep. And that is skip the wizard and quit. Okay, and just let that make its own little whatever. So there we go. Now you wonder why I skipped the wizard because it only just acts for my location, language, that kind of thing. And as released notes here, don't come up when I do my ISO for that specific reason. Uh, maybe I should. I should do that on the exact scale, but really. Um, the release notes are basically, well, this is what we have fixed. You can see from the website where it is. So anyway, I need to go to uh, settings, I believe, and configure your computer. I do. And I want to go to system, and I want to manage users on the system. I do. And I want to add a test. 
uh, yeah, no apologies for what password I used for test, okay? Okay. And then I'm going to log into test. Because test is where I'm going to build my XX scale from. Uh, that way I don't get all this bullshit and or whatever. Did I just swear? Oh, I do apologise. Anyway, in current session. Anyway, yes. We'll make sure the test works. And make sure the session is right. My TD default. And as you can see, the uh, wizard has come up again. I'm going to skip that because I'm going to be making this next go. This won't show its face on the build afterwards. A lot of people just are going to their desktop without being hassled or what you want to do with this. Because it's all in the control center anyway. So. As you can see, this is the desktop that is presented with off the exact scale at the moment. Which is all very cool. With the same settings and all that business. Right, okay, that's it for this one. And I hope you like uh, what you've seen so far. I hope you come back to the next one. I don't have a look at that system settings. Oh, I see. It's very KDE4-ish, isn't it? Okay, very cool. I was just interested to know. Yep, it basically does the same as the other one. Well, right, that's fine. Okay, anyway, I'll leave you alone now. And I'll see you next time. Uh, I want to thank my patrons and all that for sponsoring me and so on. It really is a big help. And uh, I just want to thank everybody who, who follows me and all my subscribers. I am re really, really thankful. Truly thankful. Anyway, I'll see you around soon. You lot take care. Bye-bye.